Okay everyone, so basically I'm just going to be showing you how to create simple SAMP coding for your server. Mostly this is for DMing, a DM kind of server. So first you just gotta, I'm assuming you already have a server. Uh, so if you don't, I'll leave a link to how to get one. You'll have to find out how to set it up yourself. Once here, uh, you can either click File, New, This, or Control N. Let's go click that. I'm just hurrying here. Uh, double slash and double forward slash, and then there's a comment. You can create anything with that. Explain what you've just done. Anything. Um, then it's gonna go through here, and we're making a game mode, so you can change what the game mode is here. I'll just change it to DM one three four and five. Now, here we need to go on to on player connect. We will just do a tab is for a bigger thing. If you want to do that for better indentation, make sure it's good or else you may have an error. Go send client send client message. This sends a message to, to the person you say ID. So that's the specific. The person who's just logged in or typed the command. Now you need to get the code for what color you want the thing to be. I'll do here. This is the color I want from colorpicker.com. Control C. Put that in. Control put two F's at the start, and then a zero I mean, and an X to make it a color code kind of thing. Then you put those speech comma kind of things. And now you just need to put in whatever you want people to see when you first log in. You can say, welcome to uh, what a server name. Welcome to server name. And then you can close it off, semicolon, stops the, the line, and then return one stops the whole code that's basically done and then on player disconnect we're going to get into more advanced stuff to say to broadcast to the whole server that someone has logged in that's more advanced so we'll do that in a later tutorial so since we're not broadcasting it to the whole server there's no reason to do this but goodbye because they'll already be offline so they won't see it so then on player spawn you can go give weapon give player weapon yeah this is basically for a uh, DMing kind of server player ID so that's the person you're giving it to you don't need to put anything in because it's to the specific person who just spawned player ID and then object 24 at Desert Eagle and then uh, how much ammo you want them to have or quantity I'll say 500 close off a semicolon and that's done now on player death that's more, kind of more advanced like losing the weapons uh, vehicle spawn on player text on player command here we can give them some commands and then later on I might go into admin commands kicks and stuff like that. First thing you do is we want to do a heal. These are just th to say that you can do these. These would probably be adminish commands but uh, this will just set player also. player ID and then 100 it's all day for health copy it paste SAMP is well, my all coding is very particular on the caps so make sure you're using the correct spelling and caps grammar punctuation now we'll do kill 
Yeah, it's done. And half HP. These are just examples. I mean, if in a DMing server, uh, I don't know. I don't really play DMing servers, so I wouldn't know if you can just heal yourself instantly or go to a certain health or if admins do that for you but these are just some commands that you can do now we'll spawn in the weapon there are you can go onto websites and just google the ids for weapons i'll do ak download set no give player weapon player ID. And then uh, AK, I'm pretty sure it's 30. And the amount of ammo, we'll do 500. And then we'll do that one more time with a M4. M4. Which I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, is 31. After that, yeah, we've we'll just done that. Everything should be perfect. We can then do compile it to a game mode. Uh, now you want to make sure it's quite easy to do, so I'll just say probably just script, very easy, no caps, even better, just script, and no errors, so it's just compiled. Now I'll show you what a loose indentation is. I go like that, and I try and compile it. Wonder warning, loose indentation. If I bring that back and put it back in place, no errors. So that's just an example of loose indentation. Now you can get out of that and in here, you can go to server, you can change it to your, where is it? Game mode, from grand last and or whatever to Scripts. That's just what, or whatever your script name is. Save it, and then go in. There, it's done. Now you should see the game mode's right here. DM one two four point five. Like I said. Now, if I go into Sam and over here, see, no one's on. But when I connect. Now it'll just load. It should have a few minutes before I have to end this, and then we'll continue on with a slightly more advanced thing for your server. Now it'll just start, and you can connect. See, welcome to server name, spawn, and I spawned with a desert eagle. I have a thing to make it look like a magnum, and you can see I have. 493 plus 7 is 500, so I was given the exact amount of thing I can use. Bam. Yeah. Um, finally, slash half HP. I'm now on half HP. Slash kill, and I die. I respawn with the Desert Eagle. Slash half HP. Half HP. Kill full health. Slash AK. I now have an AK 47. Slash M4. I now have an M4. So, very simple and easy things. Uh, very basics of the game. Of coding everything. Uh, now those were just codes i've seen a lot of tutorials on how to set up where you want people to spawn uh i guess since this is yeah i guess i will be doing the that in the next tutorial so i will leave a link to the next tutorial in the description
hope this helped and the next tutorial should be in a few hours, days, whatever.